All right, everyone, we're back here. I just want to see. We've only been through one month. Jesus. Well, we're going to continue on here with Jose Fernandez. And catching up a little bit back to 500. I'm 17 and 23. It's still not that great. But there's a lot of games in a season, so hopefully I can catch up. So we're going against the Washington Nationals. Alright, bring it on. Wow. Terrible record at home, but actually on the road we got a winning record. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> New York must be hating my team. <laughs> Just pretty bad. All right, here we go. D. Gordon, a move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. Second baseman, D. Gordon. Underway right at 7.05. Darn Apple thing freaking popped up on the screen. Strike one. Distracting Eric, me. these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, they come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, and that last loss dropped them back to the 500 mark on the year. So, obviously, they'd like to get back into that positive number for the win. Two-strike pitch from Strasburg. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Eric Ibar will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now here's the pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now the pitch. Hit hard back there up the middle. Go. And this will wind up a base hit for Ibar. I tell you, players talk about barreling up the baseball, and you cannot barrel it up a whole lot better than that. If you're pitching right there, that's a chuck and duck ball. You better get out of the way. Andrew McCutcheon. Will get his first shot here. As you can see, he currently leads the junior circuit in hitting. Now the first pitch. There goes Ibar. Pitches a cold strike. The yeah. throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Comes set. Now the pitch. And he chases one up the ladder as he hits a high fly ball out to straightaway center. Chris. Is there now, and he has it to gone. And he'll try to get oh, back now, but darn it's not it. going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll uh, end the inning. Freaking so they get a man a to second here early. in the opening half inning, but fail to capitalize. All right, let's go. Here's the center fielder, Coco Crisp, to get us started in the home half of inning number one. Good downward action there, and it's 0-1. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, EK, they're on a nice little run, winners of four of their last five ball games. Yeah, in these two-game series, not so great for the visiting teams. You're in, you're out, see you later. But they're a whole lot easier to deal with when you can win both games, and that's what they'll be looking for here. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here comes a 2 2. 
And this is hit well towards the hole. Darn it. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Chris Johnson will dig in for the first time now, looking to get back on track as he's seen that average stumble a bit here these past nine ball games. Ooh, right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. He's ready now. The pitch off the plate. One ball, one strike. From the belt, the pitch down low. Two balls and a strike. Here comes the 2 1 to 2 and 2 now. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started yeah, yeah. a little bit quicker. <clears throat> and he struck him out. Well, one of the big subplots for this season, how are some of these young pitchers that are coming off of Tommy John surgery in the last 18 months or so going to bounce back? It's definitely a long road back, but the surgery nowadays is so successful for a lot of guys that I think he's going to do just fine. And he's off to a good start right here. And a fastball runs a bit too far inside as he's got to step out of harm's way there. Darn it. And they'll try to go away with this one, but it misses as well, and it's to 2-1 and one now. Now a hard liner towards short. In there, a base hit. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Diane Viciedo will stand in. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities that they could never really cash them in, so... I bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. He's ready, now the pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Seems like he's missed his spots a few times here already. Yeah, he hasn't been overly sharp, that's for sure. He hasn't caught up to him yet, but he's going to need to find that rhythm. Josh Reddick will take his cuts now. Here's the first offering. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Ready now on one and one. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. And that's a pitch he needs to get working here in this first inning. He can solve a few problems here if that pitch comes around. And we'll have to leave go. it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Giancarlo Stanton leads things off now in the top half of the second. First offering on the way. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Strasburg on one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Just overmatched him there. The one, two. And oh, look out. Up and in and nearly took his head off. And we're going to see a lot more of this because this is a guy who's let it be known that he will work inside. He'll even back you off the plate if he has to. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. The pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Matt Adams will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk. Matt Adams. Now here's the first pitch. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. He's set. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And this is what you like to see, especially coming off of a loss in his last start. These first couple innings, he's coming right after guys. He's set. Now the pitch. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Joanna Cespedes will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. First pitch coming. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. You get that feeling? That'll be a pitch we see a lot of as this game goes along. And when he's throwing that thing good, a lot of times 
that's where it winds up. So these guys are going to have to prove they can lay off that. I'm sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out, inning over. Miguel Montero will stand in for the first time with gaudy numbers here in the month as you see him there. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. And now a pitch on the way. And he drops that one in for strike two. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95-plus mile-an-hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Brian Dozier will take his first cuts now. He was responsible for both of his club's runs batted in in last night's ball game. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. And he'll just lay this one in there, three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taking until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Fouled back. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And this is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. In time to first, and there are two away. Zach Kozart will get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Steven Strasburg will be the batter. Now the first pitch. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Comes set. Now the pitch. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. And a bouncing ball, foul. Here comes a one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. Boy, that's pretty good patience out there out of a pitcher who's acting like a hitter, especially with two outs. And Stanton will put this one away, and the inning is over. Nationals leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Manny Machado will get his first opportunity here. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Pitch on the way. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's 1 and 1. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. Fouled straight back. Here's the one, two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, I'd be surprised if they go back to the curve again on two and two. He's had a couple of pretty good looks at it at the plate. Too high. Ball three. Now the pitch. Now ball line foul up and over the Nationals dugout. The three, two, one more time. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. Coco and Reddick give chase, but this is going to get all the way to the wall. Machado on his way to second. And a good at-bat on three and two as he finishes it with a leadoff double. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. Chopper, foul. Comes set, now the pitch. 
Fastball. Whoa, look <laughs> out. That just about got him in the coconut. Hit you in the mm. face. Freaking <laughs> Strasburg. Like How dare you? you know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Now the one two. Runner breaks for third. And a bouncing ball foul. Again, a one two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Now another one two. And they oh, come on. I wanted to check that freaking swing. Come on. There for the first out. Jose Fernandez will stand in, and you have to figure that he'll likely be swinging the bat now. First pitch coming. And he'll try and crowd him there with a fastball to start the at bat. It's 1 0. But one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. 2 0 now. Has a look, now the pitch. And oh, no. oh. oh. well, what did I say? Here. I wanted to punch Strasburg in the face. Well, oh, Woo. that's right. Oh boy, that was a freaking knocker. Oh my god. So, unfortunately, he'll be forced to leave the game here with an apparent head injury. And we're hoping, oh, of course, man. it's nothing too serious, but it's usually not good when it's when above the I say the something, it happens. <laughs> we'll be summoned now to take over following the injury. Oh, D. Gordon will be his first wow. assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. D. Gordon. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. Here's the 1-0. On the ground towards second. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, uh, but the throw will be well late. Yes. Play, but it's all for nothing. Yeah. That'll be an infield single. Well, this is a huge mistake here because once this ball gets away and gets out of play, that means the run will be allowed to come home and score. Here's Eric Ibar now. And now it's directly hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. He's ready now, the pitch. And Ibar will lay off that one. It's even at one and one. And against a veteran hitter like this, you got to be in that strike zone early in the count. Because the more pitches he sees, the better he's going to be able to time anything you've got. In there, one and two now. One, two. Hard hit towards center. Darn it. Chris is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Coco Chris will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. And now we'll try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. A bare hand pickup. Oh, by man. He freaking got that. So it's a bunt single to get him started here. Oh, but look here. Challenge that crap. Up and out of the Don't dugout, get many so times to challenge. To challenge that last safe call at first. Well, here's safe. another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when we saw it out. live. And He's out. Tell you what, it's still tough to tell from that angle. He's We're freaking gonna have to out. See what the dugout decides. Get out of here, Coco. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will. There we go. He's freaking out. Get out here, so Coco. You get on the horn with base. Replay How dare you? Center in Manhattan, and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. Chris Johnson is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box. A foul ball. Here comes Fernandez, 0-2. Struck him out, but he'll try Get for out, first boy. drop third strike. Yeah. But the catcher quickly slaps the tag on him here for the second out. Chris Davis will stand in. A base hit his first time around. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1-0. And, and the pitch. 
Oh, Way there's the game I was going to do until freaking PSN one one. was down. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. Sticking with the soft stuff here as this misses. It's 2-1. and one. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, 2-2. Two and two. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. That's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Andrew McCutcheon. First pitch to him. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Here's the pitch. That's inside. 2 and 0. And on 2 and 0, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Here it comes. Two one pitch is swung on and hit in the air out to center uh. field. Chris is in his tracks now, and he's got it for out number one. So the base is empty here with one away, and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. Cut fastball inside. Ball one. The next pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to Darn short. it. And no chance on the throw. So a great effort, but that'll be scored a base hit. Matt Adams will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Ready now the pitch. And that's oh my god! On the mound. I'm wailing on these freaking pitchers, man. Woo and time now to see quite where that got him. And oh man, another pitcher. Actions on the field. Oh, it. it looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could oh, be problematic, man. of course. For him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think oh. he's going to try to continue. Yoenis Cespedes Ooh. will dig in. Oh, for one here. Oh, he's actually got to tough it out. In the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Line toward the gap in left center, and that's going to be down for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two-to-nothing lead now. Oh, I probably would have made that. Darn it. Manny Machado will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. And here's the first pitch. Swing and miss on the slider, nothing in one. Wow, you got to think he got away with one right there. If you're a pitcher and you're pitching to this guy, you cannot live in that location. Machado now on 0 and 1. Hit pretty well as this is out toward deep center. Coco with the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3-0 ball game. So a man at third here with two gone. And coming up, the switch hitting backstop, Jared Saltolamacchio. Now a ball hit sharply out to left center, and he'll nice. deliver an RBI with two away, as this should be good for extra bases. And another runs across, as this is now a 4-0 ball game. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. The pitcher number 26. Jose Fernandez. Uh oh. Get a chance to the swing away. The nose breakers in. A chance to pad onto his lead if he can deliver something here with two away. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Seems like they're showing a lot of faith in this guy, leaving him out there. And I think you appreciate that as a pitcher, but sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. Looks like this is going to be one of those times. And he will oh. get there to make the running play. What was the home run with freaking Jose? Darn it. Inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Diane Viciedo will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now a curveball that misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0. and all. The pitch. And 2-0 and oh now as this misses below the knees. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over. Oh. But he's shown some wow, darn. here with two. And this one is gone. 
Oh, that's bull crap. A solo home run off the bat of Dion Vicieto. Home run number nine on the year. As they get on the board, it's four to one now. No offer at the curveball either. It's two and zero. Oh. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, two and zero. Oh. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Three and one now. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. Ek, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. On to first, so a good nice. bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Miguel Montero will dig in with one in and one away. Montero waits, now the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1 0. One run, four hits, one error thus far for the Nationals. Nope. 2 0. Now here's the pitch. And he has a cut at that one, but misses two and one. And now he's made most of the hitters inside conscious. And of course, that opens up the outside corner when he has to go there. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Yeah, it's hard to look for a change up there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. Bases are empty, one man out. Once again, a 3-2. This is past the mound and into center Darn field it. for a base hit. Brian Dozier will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground is short. To Gordon for one. Relay to first yeah. in time. And just like that, this side is retired. R.J. Alvarez is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. D. Gordon is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Oh. The 1-0 pitch. There's a line drive out to left center that'll carry over there the head go. of Cozart. It's short of base hit. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. First things first, here's a throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's got it safely. Here's the first pitch to him. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Nice. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. All right, so nice Andrew McCutcheon will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first offering. Hit hard on the ground. No! Oh! Pick it up cleanly. My... And now, oh, come on. They will get it out here. Runners are at second and third here with only one away. And set to stand in. Oh, the how dare you. Dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk and the force at the plate. Oh, man, Adams. And we see a lefty and a right-hander start this. to loosen up in the bullpen. First pitch on the way. Goes the other way as this is lined to left. And this oh, holy crap, go. Oh, what a go, everyone, go. Around third and being waved on home. Gordon scores. I wow, scores. I did not see that freaking coming. Holy crap. I'd be yeah, so ticked like off at that left footer. To me, that's a ball he should have. Yeah, I mean, he's right there. He just... He just fans on it. What the frick happened? It's going to wind up costing him two runs. 
Ooh. Yoenis Cespedes will stand in in another dangerous spot here in the inning as this ball game is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy if you're going to have any chance of sticking around. Even a single here might put this one out of reach. He's set now the pitch. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. Holy crap, Coco go! Reddick give chase, but this is going to get all the <laughs> way to the wall. And he will score as well. And they're really putting some distance between them now as that lead gets even bigger. Manny Machado will stand in. He drove in a run with a sack fly his last time. Now the first pitch. And he Ooh, popped him up. Sucked. Back into foul territory behind first. And here's Davis to Darn take it. it in. And there are two gone now. It's a good thing I got Strasburg out here. Again. This is in show motion. And... Mm, You'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. The catcher Jared Salto Lamaki is in now as he will Darn swing it. at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. Zach Kozart. Will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. The right-hander deals on one and two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. No! Over shoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Come on. Ryan Howard will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. And this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. And this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. Catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first out. This crowd oohs and ahs every time this guy hits a fly ball. But he didn't get all of that one, and it's pretty much a can of corn. Coco Crisp comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box. So it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And this is where a guy who's been around a long time knows, hey, we're not going to make up the difference with just one swing. It's going to take base runners. So that's a good job of being really three. patient at the plate. Woo. He takes strike nice. three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Chris Johnson will stand in now. A punch-out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game. You'll start falling Darn into it. some pretty bad habits. Another 0-2 coming. Off the oh. plate at 94, 1-2. and two. Well, that's what you want that two-seamer to do. Run back to the outside corner. And nope, Darn it! didn't miss by all that much. A little low, it's 2-2. Two and two. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Sets the two two pitch. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Another two two offering. Now a swing Holy and a round crap. ball. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. But a good yeah. play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. James Russell will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. 
And the first pitch here is pulled on the Boo. ground. Third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. D. Gordon will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. First pitch coming. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. 1-0. and oh. Now here's the pitch. Swing and an easy one on, for go, the go, first go, 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 go. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Well, how about this out of the bullpen? Three pitches, two outs. Can't do a whole lot better than that. Here's the first offering. Eric Ibar is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. The 1-0. Now a fastball, and he knocks this one into right center field. That's going to be a base done. hit. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at-bats so far. And he'll step off the line and go to first. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. First offering on the way. Chris Davis is in for the third time as he looks at a ball high. It's 1-0. Oh. EK, the starter, creeping up on 100 pitches now, but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all. Yeah, he still looks sharp. Still, with Darn. the way that teams handle pitchers nowadays, I don't think he'll wind up going much further. And he gets this fastball over, back to three and one now. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. And he's retired one away. Diane Viciedo will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Pitch on the way. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. One run, six hits, and two errors on the Washington line score. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Here's another one, two. And now a slide yeah. in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching, and this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Josh Reddick is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. Darn it. In the out of here. So they narrow the gap. And hey, don't count these guys out just yet. A solo home run here for Josh Reddick. And this lead has been cut to just six now. And now a pitch on the way. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One in the inning for the Nationals on the solo home run. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh. It's the Yankees' eight and the Nationals' two. Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon is at the plate as he watches ball one. Here's a 1-0. Now a swing and a short ground it. ball to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Giancarlo Stanton will step in, and we'll see if they decide to pitch to him this time around. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. They've already walked him twice already, so I wouldn't be surprised if they worked around him again. And this pitch is lined into center field, and he's going to reach with his second hit of the night. Matt Adams will be the batter. He reached on an error and later scored his last time. 
First pitch coming. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. From the belt, the pitch. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. Joanna Cespedes to get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Now here's the first pitch. And oh. here's the ball hit in the air. And Davis will put this one away and the inning is over. Brian Dozier will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Second baseman. Charlie Furbush will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Brian Dozier will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Bottom three in the batting order here as the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And this is taken for a called strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. That's plenty nice. hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Zach Kozart will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Oh, he goes Darn the other it. way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Giovanni Soto will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. This one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Now here it comes. Just missing here, 2-0. and oh. I think he's letting this situation get the better of him out there. But you have to have a short memory if you're a relief pitcher. You can't dwell on what just happened. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. And the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Here it comes. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think. Sometimes oh my god. These guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do. Coco Chris will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. And this is gonna be a foul ball. Runners on first with one down. He's set now the pitch. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. You don't want guys to get too comfortable. Come on. So that's a good idea to run something in tight. Uh, and he can't connect with the 3-1 curveball, so that'll run it full. No reason not to go for broke now. What do you got to lose? And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? On to first, and Coco's gone for the second out. Chris Johnson will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now the first pitch. And he Darn takes it. ball one. Two out here and a runner at second. 1-0 on the way. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Yeah, he's got an open base here. Looks like he's going to use it. Here's the 2-0. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Chris Davis will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. Oh, now, come on. Fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Runners on first and third, two away. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first in there plenty of go. time, and the side is retired. Nats draw just a bit closer thanks to the solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth.
It's now 8-3. to three. Craig Stammen will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number 8. Manny Machado is at the plate as he looks at ball one. The 1-0. And this time the fastball's by him, and that'll even things out at one and one. Now the pitch. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Oh, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Swing, and he takes Darn it the other way to right. Reddick is there, one away. We showed you his numbers a minute ago. It's still early in the season to be worrying too much, but he's definitely off to a slow start. So he's going to need to string together a few good outings to lower that ERA a little bit. And he'll have himself a base hit. The throw into second. And a good yeah. effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. All right. Uh, who I want? James Loney, best one? James Loney will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 21, James Loney. Out in front a bit as that this is pulled down the line to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. D. Gordon will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch to him. He goes the other way as this is hit well on. toward deep left Come field. On. Oh my God! Vasaido is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. The Yanks leave one, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Danny Farquhar is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eight. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's the pitch. And low and inside with a fastball as he's got a hot footed out of there. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And safe uh. as the first base umpire as the throw was too late. And Let's try it again. Freaking challenge that crap. That last call challenged here. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Yeah, Matt, it's definitely safe. a close play right there as we're going to get another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so oh, tough to tell safe. for sure from Darn that replay. And we're going to have to see what the word from the dugout is. Remember, the ruling on the field is safe. Josh Reddick will stand in now yeah. in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. All right, leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ball game. It's not too late. Oh it come on! To start <laughs> happening soon. That is freaking stupid. Miguel Montero will get another crack. One for three thus far. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And that's in there for his strike one and one. From the stretch. And this one gets away. That could be a run. And as it turns out, he won't test it. Here's the 2-1 pitch. And this is lifted in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. Let's see if they try it. But he's got plenty of respect for that arm out there as he's going to hold steady at third with one away now. Brian Dozier will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And that's going to land foul. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Second and third here, one man out. A big pitch here, one and two. Fouled back.
Here he comes again, 1-2. Out of play. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Another 1-2 delivery. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. Here we go. And now this is swung oh, on. Oh, come on, the man. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And he will score as well. And they're in striking distance now. It's down to a three-run game. Zach Kozart will stand in, but with the tying run still in the on-deck circle, he needs to get on base somehow. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw gets him, two down. Craig Stammen will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. Low for oh, bull one. crap. As a look, now the pitch. And what? won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. He's just going to go right on taking pitches. You have to throw strikes here with two outs, especially when you've got the pitcher up. Here he comes on two and one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Eric Ibar get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the night. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Now the pitch. And Ibar will lay off that one. It's even at one and one. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off too. And this will wind up a base hit for Ibar. Andrew McCutcheon will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Now a throw over to first, and he'll dive back in. Now here's the first pitch. Oh, and this goes right past Montero all the way to the screen. And a bad time for that as the runner takes second here. One oh. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. A runner at second, nobody out. One one on the way. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And he'll turn and fire a desperation throw to first. Dang it, Ball Andrew Davis McCutcheon. A low one, but he's able to dig it out and save the error. A nice play. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around third is Ibar heading for the plate. And the runner is in from second. AJ Ramos will take over now with one away in the top of inning number nine. Matt Adams will be his first assignment down of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. 1-0 pitch now. Now here's a ball hit. Darn it. Round to second. On to Davis at first and there are two away. Yoannis Cespedes will stand in in another RBI spot. He's already got three in this one. And here's the first pitch. Tries to go the other way, but this ought to be a routiner out in right. Reddick is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Coco Crisp will step in. A ground out victim his last time. Aroldis Chapman is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. 
Coco Chris will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. And this is fouled back and out of play. Pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss there by Coco as he's down in the count. Nothing and two. The pitch. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. There's the lefties offering on one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And when he's down 0 and 2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2 and 2, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still 2 and 2. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Chris Johnson will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. Now here's the pitch. Off the plate again, 2-0 and oh now. And the pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in Holy here to get crap. the count back to two and one. My God. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. And this is pulled hard but foul. They brought their gloves for that one out there. Lays off the splitter that time and it's full three and two. Now here's the pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And he tries for the backhand to reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Chris Davis will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch coming. And that's dead center for strike one. Yeah, the velocity's good here, but I'm not so sure about the location. That was right down the middle. One and one. He's ready now, the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's ready. Now the pitch. Swing and he gets under this one as it's hit in the air to shallow center. McCutcheon comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Diane Viciedo will stand in as their last chance now. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first. All right, there we go. Have claimed the Ooh. fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Another good win for these guys, and they're playing some confident baseball out there right now. That's their fourth win in a row, so they've got things firing on all cylinders. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man who stands out right here. He's our tops player of the game. And I think all things considered, this was really a team victory. But out of everybody, I agree. He made the biggest impact out there. Our final line score tonight. First all right. For the victorious Yankees. Woo. Close one.